Hello everyone. How's everybody doing? Uh, it's Peter out here. South Jersey Pete coming right on at you. I know that you guys just love talking to your Peter over here. I know JB does. I talked to JB on the phone last night for about an hour. No, just kidding. You kidding me? JB's a big guy. He's busy, man. He ain't got time for me. I got all my good friends out there in the YouTube lands. They know who they are. They're my they're my buds, man. They're my buds. Um, guys, I want to speak highly, quickly on a couple of things. I've got do you guys realize how you say that you're lighting on um, you always have you don't have enough lighting for your um, for your videos oh man guys yesterday the dog trainer was here and she hooked up this giddy up that the phone sat directly into it the iPhone sat directly into it and it was a round sphere with a light it was just a light and you could adjust the light you could adjust the light so directly inside that phone there's your light and you could also adjust the light it was awesome the picture quality she shot that video for one hour she was here for one hour and she did a one hour video on um another um another person uh watching um, she went live with another person that was interested in, I don't know, doing her service or whatever. But she did an hour video and it came out spot on. And she was far. She was, the, 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 the camera, the video, the iPhone was pretty far away from us where we were doing our training. It was pretty, it was pretty far and it was great. Now we said all that. Now, let's get right on into it. Guys, what are we doing here? Um, guys, first piece up on the docket. I had to, had to do it, and it's been a long time. All th These pieces are all, well, except for the one. This piece right here, I have been meaning to get for the longest time to tie it in. This is the Otter Messer Anchor Knife, okay, guys? If you don't have an Otter Messer, oh, it's so nice. It's so good. It's so good. Guys, I'm going to force the patina on this one. This has got a carbon steel. I'm going to force that patina on it. You can see right there, it's made in solid in Germany. Um, the best knives come out of there, guys. Absolute best. Can't get better knives coming out of there. Guys, this is the... Um, this is the Otter Messer Anchor Knife. Now, if you really want to get fancy, check this Otter Messer out, guys. This is the Otter Messer 3 Rivet Knife. Guys, this knife has got to be on my top, the top of the top. That's how good it is. I forced the patina once on the blade. I'm going to do it again, darken it up again. Look how nice it comes. But guys, this is the Otter Messer 3 Rivet Knife. So now I'm tied in. Now I got the anchor knife. Uh, hold on guys i'm sorry bear with me now okay let's do a little now what we got here is we got the anchor knife and we've got the three rivet knife so i tied them together i had to tie them together guys and plus you know i'm a big german guy with my knives don't you come on guys so that's that piece there that came in i had to get that all right guys this was a bombshell i tried getting a hold of knife detector okay me and knife detector share a love with sunfish knives and um elephant toe knives and i've been asking him if he's seen this on smoky mountain knife works look at this g10 look how vibrant vibrant this new series is of this blue g10 um, it's called, uh, the, this one, I'm sorry, is called the B Blue Mule. <laughs> it's called the B Blue Mule. Look how beautiful. Let's get you a shot of that G10. Guys, this knife was $12, this elephant toe. 
It's got half stops, guys. Now it is a little sluggish. Oh, you could tell it's going to break in beautifully, though. God. Guys, this is the elephant to... Guys, look at this. I had to pounce on this piece. Oh, man, dude. It was just a... Oh, man. It was just a no-brainer, guys. But look at the... But just look at uh, look at look at the quality. This is the new uh, G10 Blue G10 um, series that Rough Rider came out with. So I saw this and had to hop on it because I'm a big <clears throat> I'm a big elephant toe guy, and um, I didn't hear nothing back yet from um, uh, my man Knife Detector. I don't know if Knife Detector is going to hop on this or not, but he probably will for twelve bucks. How can, I mean, I mean, 12 bucks, how can't you? Look at this, will you? Look at the blue. Oh, my goodness. Guys, it's a beautiful piece. Okay, so that's the second one that came in. Now, the third one, the third one has been out for quite some time, and I just have not got my hands on it for some reason or another, and it's just so beautiful. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Guys, let's take a look, okay? Let's just take a look at the Trapper. Let's take a look at the green Micarta Trapper by Rough Rider. Guys, this piece has been out for a while now. This green micarta series have, has been out for a little bit of time. Now, I would highly suggest if you are any kind of a rough rider, fan, fanatic, follower, um, just any of the above, if you are into rough rider knives, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. It is essential, it is absolutely essential that you purchase, that you go ahead and purchase one of these um, green micarta series knives. If you guys do not want the trapper, don't get the trapper. But, but, get another model in the green micarta. Guys, it's just so beautiful. I still have yet to have a Rough Rider that is this beautiful. This might be the most beautiful. This might be the most beautiful one to me. To me. Okay? I mean, just look at them. Look at them covers. Look at the action. And I did not flush it. I got to sit here. for With these three knives, it's going to take me over an hour probably longer because I'm going to bake this one and I'm going to quench this one in um, uh, apple cider vinegar and get that blade nice and dark but guys look at the fit and finish watch the action on this trapper pop just simply unbelievable just it's just a beautiful piece <clears throat> Let's take a look at that again. I can't, I just sit here and I can't stop looking at it. It's just like I look at it and I'm like, wow, are you serious? Am I seriously looking at a 12, I mean, I'm sorry, $14, $14 knife here. Am I really doing that? Am I really doing that? This one was the most expensive piece, guys. This was coming in at 50. Okay, well worth it, guys. Well worth, well worth the money now i will i will put um i will once i clean this i will put some oil on this wood and guys if you'd like for me to shoot another video oh my god wait till you see how good this wood looks when i treat it now this wood isn't the greatest of woods i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you that right now but it's gonna look just beautiful when i'm done with it oh yeah i treat the wood you got to treat the wood you got to but look at this otter messer, guys. I'm telling you, I'm the Germans, they they know how to do it the best, guys. That's why I have a full, full table full of German knives there. That's why I have a full table full of German knives. And last but not least, let's take another little peek at this. 
Look at that G10. This blue G10, this sucked me in right away. And I was like, oh my God, I was not going to get another knife. I was like, you know something? Oh man. But look, but look, how could I not? Knife detector. Please, buddy. What do you think about this piece here? And are you interested in it for the $12, $12 price tag on her? And what do you think about this? Give me a little insight on this piece, guy. I got to flush it. But check that out. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I'm always forget. Okay. Let's check her out like that. And then, hold on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wind up getting cut, ain't I? So there you are, knife detector. Warthog. Talk to me over there, Warthog, for 12 bucks. What do you, what do you, you digging this uh, elephant toe for 12? You jumping all over this for 12 beans or what? Tobias. Tobias, please, buddy. Please, I need your input. 12 bucks. Are you going to jump all over this or what? Please let me know if you're going to jump all over this, Tobias. I'm going to need your input on this. I'm really going to need your help on this, but look at the G10 in the fit and finish. Please, guys, let me know. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious if you are going to jump on that. I know that most of you have this. And if you don't, like I said, guys, please, for 14 bucks, I think this one was. <laughs> how can you not buy this knife? Tell me how you could let this one go. You're not a knife guy, guys, if you let that one slip. You are not. I have to admit. And this is the uh, the good old Otter Messer Anchor. Isn't that beautiful? The patina is going to get real nice on this stuff here. Everything's going to... I'm going to do another video, guys, and show you how everything comes out. Please, guys, I'm asking you to drop that comment, please. JB, I know you're tuning in over there. You got your ears on over there. Let me know what's going on, JB. Are you in that uh, elephant toe? No, you're probably not in the elephant toes, I don't think. But that blue G10 series, uh, you digging that uh, blue G10 series or what? Let me know what's going on, guys. We're going to continue this journey. We're going to continue. We are going to continue loving knives. That's what we're going to do over here. We're just going to keep on this road, and we're going to just keep on loving knives. My wife told me the other day or something. She's like, uh... That's all you talk about. Do you realize, she said to me seriously, you looked at me in the face and said, do you realize all day long, the only thing you talk about are, are your knives and knives? That's the only thing that's important to you in life. I was like, oh, no, no, hon. I was like, not really, no, no. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, drop me that comment, please. I need the love. I need the support over here. My pup goes in tomorrow, guys, for surgery. She's going in tomorrow. Stick with me through this journey here, guys. I'm going to need it. I will do a video of my pups if you'd like to see that. I've been meaning to do it, but I've been so busy. I want to show you my pup, guys. I love them. All right, guys, please stick with me. Drop me that comment. Knife detector. Yo, I'm digging on that piece, guy. It's got half stops too, brother. It's got halfies on it. All right, let me know. Yo, William. Yo, check that out, William. I know you're eyeballing that. My man William is hard eyeballing my, my, my roughies over there. All right, William, be safe over there. Take care. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Drop me that comment. Thanks, guys.